Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for September 13th, 2021. Well, on Friday, my goodness, those bulls um, by the dip buyers really got handed a pretty rough morning um, on Friday with a bit of a bull trap set by the bears and gapping up and there was a rush in first thing in the morning and then all of a sudden we started to drop pretty uh, pretty quickly and if you look at the intraday um, chart we also had another rally on the intraday trying to push us back up that likely attracted some by the dip buyers and um, unfortunately that did not hold up throughout the day. So let's take a look at the technicals of these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market today on the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts, see what we can get out of these. First off, um, the worst of the damage that occurred on Friday happened here in the Dow. Let's take note now, um, when we talk about downtrend, remember downtrends are pretty easily defined as a lower low, which we created over here, followed by a excuse me, a lower high followed by a lower low. And as you can see, we ended up achieving that here on Friday in the Dow. So technically speaking, the Dow has entered into the possibility of a downtrend um, in the chart. We have some pretty darn significant resistance levels above now that the Dow is going to have to deal with. Now we've done this before where we certainly it looks like all hope is lost and then we just defy gravity and push all the way back up but we may have a little bit more of a challenge here with this lower high in the Dow. So watch that closely as we push up this morning. Futures are very very bullish this morning. We're trying to um, just pretend we don't care much about inflation, but I suspect we still do. And we do want to not forget about that bull trap that was set here, where we get that gap up in the pre-market. We look at all of that energy coming in, and then those bears come back and attack right away. So we can't rule out the possibility that that could occur again today as we push up toward these resistance levels in the chart. Now let's take a look at our moving averages here on the Dow. Certainly we lost that 50 day moving average in a big way on Friday and this gap back up, we're still gonna be well below um, that 50 day moving average. One of the things you might wanna take note of is that our shorter term moving average, notice our eight exponential moving average, our 34 exponential moving average, and our 20 is coming down. We're gonna be creating a rather significant moving average resistance level right in this area. So watch, carefully for that as we push back up. The Dow suffered the, the majority of the damage in the market and is one of the weaker um, indexes um, this morning. So let's take a look at the SPY. SPY finally got involved in a little bit of selling on Friday as big tech um, started to show signs of stress um, up at the top. However, let's take a take a look here. We did not lose our SPY uptrend. Our SPY uptrend is holding in there pretty firmly, although we do have some resistance here in the chart now that we've created. We'll have to watch that pretty closely, but no lower high, no, no dip here um, to a lower low. So bull trend is still in play here in the SPY and it's been largely due to big tech. So we'll wanna keep an eye on that and see how tech continues to handle this. We still have a significant number of the SPY stocks below their 200 day moving average, but um, 
big tech seems to be doing enough lifting to hold us very, very solidly in this uptrend. So watch this this morning as we push back up. Keep in mind, we left behind a bearish engulfing candle and a bearish engulfing candle um, usually tells us that there could be more selling on the way. But watch that closely. If we can push right back above these support levels in the chart and then prove to hold, then we have that upside opportunity um, in the chart. Now, if we were to fail, if we find something um, in the market here today that brings those bears back in, if we were to push back down and create a um, a follow through to that ugly candle on Friday, um, that would be a problem and could really shake the confidence here in the market. And we cannot rule that out with the all the different pressures that the market faces right now. We have um, obviously inflation problems that we have to worry about. We have a debt ceiling coming up pretty quickly. We have a um, um, a CPI number on Tuesday, which is going to give us another reading on inflation that I'm, I'm certain the market is more worried about than um, they're trying to show us this morning. And then we have retail sales on Thursday and another reading on consumer sentiment on Friday. So we have a lot of data coming our way that is likely going to be a rather sensitive uh, for the market, so watch that close. Then let's take a look at the QQQ. Now the QQQ, remarkably, even though we did get a little bit of selling, we left behind a bearish engulfing candle, you can hardly tell anything has happened here in the market um, because of big tech. Big tech held up pretty well. However, we did see after um, after a court ruling against Apple, pretty substantial break here in Apple. Now they are coming into their reveal of their new um, iPhone 13 and um, that may have some bullish or, or bearish means to it. Keep in mind that they are worried right now about chip shortages uh, making it difficult for them to get um, that many phones sold. So watch that closely. But other stocks like Google, um, holding up pretty well. We did leave some, you know, we broke some supports and things in the chart, broke that consolidation. So there is some worry here, but most of these are still holding on to their uptrends, as you can see, holding in there pretty solidly. So no particular worries here on that front. But when we look at that QQQ, we do want to consider carefully that big tech is doing the majority of the lifting. And if they continue to experience some selling, then we could have some problems as we move along here. So watch that closely. We have a solid price support in here. We're a long ways from that, but we could easily test this price level in here as support. So if those bulls come in and do their job um, and really defend in here, we could just continue to hold. Now, I've mentioned this before, this trend being all the way out here, we've kind of given up this trend. We could just continue to consolidate in here in a choppy, choppy move pressing this out toward that trend before we can find the inspiration whether we're going to move up or move down. So kind of keep that in mind. Don't be too surprised if we just kind of chop around in here for a bit as investors and traders try to figure out what comes next. And then let's take a look at that IWM. IWM, that's an ugly bearish engulfing candle there on Friday pushing back down, a little bit of problem showing up in the market here in this chart. Notice that we gave a good solid test to this support here, failed it a little bit, but we're trying to bounce back this morning. And that happens to be right there at that 50 day moving average. So if we can hold on to that 50 day moving average, that could be very important for IWM. And really, energy is going to be one of those things that's going to be critical. Can energy um, hold on and provide enough support 
for the Russell to to hang in there. Um, so we have this little bit of a downtrend where we made that low, lower high, lower low, holding in here. So it's going to be kind of critical as we rally back up. Can we break through that price resistance level? Can we get up through there and hold? And then we could start seeing those bulls come back in. However, if we come up into here and we show more selling, don't be too surprised. It wouldn't be too big of a stretch to think that we could see that 200-day moving average again here in IWM soon. Remember, there's a lot of price resistance above here in the Russell. Let's take a look at the VIX. That VIX started off pretty slow on Friday, gapping lower on that gap up in the market, and then completely reversed here on the day. Notice that we closed up here pretty substantially. And as I've mentioned before, there's probably no worry in the market until we break above that 20 handle area in the VIX. And we did that on Friday into the close. However, the gap down this morning will suggest that we will reject this area here this morning. But we'll want to keep an eye on that. We've been watching these higher lows in here. A pullback into here doesn't really resolve anything for us. Um, if we were to happen to hold a higher low, that's where real selling can begin. So let's watch that closely in this chart. There's that downtrend. We don't want to see us breaking that downtrend right there but we run a little bit more risk that that is possible here um, this week. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, unfortunately, T2122, even with that selling on Friday, we did not reach an oversold condition here in the market. So bouncing today is going to be kind of an, um, well, maybe a little bit of uh scariness maybe because we have that possibility um, in here that this is another bull trap that was set on like on Friday that we're gapping up and then we get a complete reversal here on the day not saying that that's going to occur but that possibility does exist because we have not reached that oversold condition here in the chart however if we bounce up this morning we certainly could push back up in here pretty nicely and just keep in mind t2122 doesn't tell us which direction the market's going to go it just kind of tells us those those pressure points so if the bears were to find some inspiration we certainly have room to move down and if those bulls can hold on and show that inspiration here today with that pending cpi that might be a little bit of a stretch but we have opened up a big upside opportunity here in t2122 let's take a look at our t2107 now this is a bit problematic here as um, i've been discussing we have an awful lot of our stocks this is the percentage of stocks above their 200 day average notice only 44.36 percent of the stocks are above their 200 day moving average so this downtrend here in this chart is relatively significant and noticing right in here that we pushed up here we challenged we tried to break out and then we failed and we have now made a new low as of friday with the number of stocks below their 200 or um below their 200 days so we're going to want to watch that pretty closely this is starting to get very very heavy and big tech has been doing all of the lifting if big tech can continue to lift all of this up wonderful but i'm starting to worry just a little bit that all of this downside pressure could actually draw them down just imagine what could happen if big tech starts to sell off that could be pretty darn rough and then let's take a look at our t21 now T2101 had a little bit of an increase in breadth on that selling wave on Friday, which wasn't significant. I got to say, I would have expected to see a lot more in market breadth as that market sold off. So we didn't get it. So that could lean us to the bullish side saying that there just wasn't enough fear, enough problem here to really create that breadth move to the upside. And I think it's largely because those big tech stocks encompass such a massive weight in the SPY 
and QQQ. If they can hold up, it is that possibility that we don't get that big sell wave coming into the market because of their massive weighting. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for this week. And this is going to be kind of an interesting week um, with economic data. We're going to start this week out with a very, very light uh, day. We're going to have Treasury sentiment here later on today. I kind of suspect nobody's going to pay attention to that. But boy, tomorrow we're going to have a reading on CPI. Now remember, our PPI on Friday is what triggered this big selling. As a matter of fact, our wholesale prices came in at 8.3%, the highest level recorded. Now CPI, consumer prices, this is going to be interesting. Are they pushing those higher prices along to consumers? And we'll want to keep an eye um, on that here on Tuesday morning. If that comes in hot, we could see the market run into a little bit of trouble there. So watch that closely. Now keep in mind, we have um, industrial production out here, petroleum status on Wednesday, import export and Empire State Manufacturing probably won't move us all that much, but we do have this on Wednesday. Also keep in mind that we have that recall election in California going off here on Tuesday. And that may have some market ramifications on Wednesday. You never know. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. And then we're going to hop over here into Thursday and we're going to hit those jobless claims, Philly Fed, and then retail sales. So those could be interesting and particularly the retail sales could be really interesting. What we're seeing um, is a weakening con consumer. And depending on how these numbers come in, that could be problematic for the market. So watch that carefully. And then last but not least here on Friday, we have that consumer sentiment. If you remember the last reading on consumer sentiment, sentiment dropped to a 2011 low and starting to show that those consumers are a little bit wary here and a little bit worried about inflation and um, those costs. So watch those things closely this week as we progress through. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar to today. Now our earnings calendar, we have about 20 five companies on the calendar, but a good deal of those are unconfirmed reports. And what we do have for confirmed reports are really not really notable. They're very, very small cap um, stocks that are reporting. So likely nothing that is going to move us around much this morning. But we do have one this afternoon that we are going to want to pay attention to, and that is Oracle. Oracle will be reporting this afternoon, and we'll want to watch that pretty carefully. Oracle's been in this nice little consolidating range here in this chart. So it's going to be um, extremely important how this reports today. This could certainly help that uh, those tech giants, if we can get a nice strong bullish report here on Oracle, we could push on through and that could help us out this week. But on the other hand, if it does disappoint, there could be some problems here as well. So watch that closely for that Oracle report after the bell today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful, please do me a favor. Click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the algorithm continue to show these videos to more folks. And I just wanna say thank you so much. I know it's a pain, it really is, it's a pain, I get it. But thank you so much for those who take the time to do it. It means the world to me, I truly appreciate it. And thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to, um, 
to that clicks that link and buy me a coffee link and is supporting the channel that way for those folks that really aren't members to hit run candlesticks and, and right way options but want to support this kind of content i really uh, want to say thank you so much to everyone out there who is doing that thank you thank you thank you let's take a look at a few things that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact we're going to have to be really really careful with volatility today um, could be some challenging um, very very challenging uh, time in some stocks because we just have so much volatility with that VIX being up there possible um, option prices are are likely going to be a little bit difficult to deal with as well so kind of keep that in mind what you might want to be thinking about is doing a little bit of maybe hedging so for example let's take a look at the nasdaq if the nasdaq were to hold in in this area um, we could start thinking about maybe um, uh, bear call credit spreads, bull put credit spreads, depending on where you want to be in that trade. Um, looking into some of these um, stock internals, take a look at um, Apple. That Apple pulled back really hard on Friday. I would expect some kind of hold in here. Remember, they're going to be doing their reveal of their new phone we've got a little tiny uptrend there holding in here there may be some opportunity setting up here in apple if that continues to hold up as you guys know i was looking at amd as a possible trade but doggone it that just continues to slip here we've kind of lost this trend we continue to slip we're pushing down into this price support area here but it is entirely possible if this could find some inspiration in here we could bounce up off of there keep an eye on that however um, it's also very possible if this were to slip and fail through this support there could be some short trading so we've got a lot of stocks kind of in that area that are running into some problems places that you might want to look um, for a little bit of safety take a look at some of these defensive sector stocks now on friday defensive sector stocks kind of ran into some trouble just like everything else um, and what you're going to find is if we get a true market sell-off uh, these will oftentimes get drawn into that market sell-off but take a look pepsico pepsico holding up in a pretty uh, decent pattern here a good dividend payer might be something to pay attention to you might this is going to be kind of a, a a wild one for folks to even consider but keep an eye on some of these big divvy payers like um, AT&T. Notice here in this chart, we've been in this ugly, ugly downtrend. But look at this dividend yield that's starting to show up here in the chart. Now, if this is to continue uh, falling, obviously there's nothing here for a stock buy. However, if we can hold a little higher low in here, see those bulls start to pick up. And it wouldn't be uncommon to see big dividend payers pick up a little bit when the market gets a little bit spooky. So watch stocks like that, uh, things that are paying pretty decent dividends. You might wanna take a look at stocks like Altria, the Mo. Mo holding up really, really well on Friday. Notice this nice little consolidation up here, holding up really well. This is one of those strong divvy pairs. Notice that as we kind of chop out here toward this trend, we have that opportunity that this could move up higher. Watch that closely. Notice in this chart, we've broken this downtrend, holding that upside trend, holding a price support level those are the kind of charts that you want to be looking for i think right now with these um, nice dividend yields because that's where the folks may be looking for a little bit of safety so watch for that you might want to take a look at philip morris as well philip morris holding up quite well as you can see in here in this pattern looking bullish 
And if this were to rest out here, I would watch for that next opportunity for Philip Morris to move on up. Of course, healthcare stocks have been doing um, quite well. Definitely keep an eye on some of those healthcare names out there. Even though they did kind of get caught up in some of the selling on Friday, they could quickly start to bounce back. So watch for some of those. Since I'm running short here, guys, on time, I'm going to cut it off there. I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day. I want to wish you all great success in your trading. And I mean that sincerely. I know what it's like to struggle in the market. I know what it's like to just constantly feel like you're under pressure to perform. Um, take a breath. Take a breath. Remember, when the market is like this, one of the better things you might do is just protect your capital. You might want to step back for a little bit instead of pressing so hard into a market that has this much volatility. So be safe and be careful out there. I wish you great success and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day.